on this insane episode of the NES Pursuit. The gas button doesn't work on mine! That's not fair! Riff heads to work of all places and gets a ton of NES games. So doubles are cool for me because I kind of put them in different spots. The Pursuit Pals travel to unknown territories to get a giant video game statue. This thing is ridiculous. Play right here, and then there's a little one right here. Oh, I can see it on. Nice. Oh. The squad journeys to Frankensons, the mecca of nerddom. All right, where should we start? It's always a good question here, where to start? There's a million rows. Riff and Complex are back at it again. Riff's gonna give me five, but I feel bad. I don't even know if I would buy it for five by itself, let alone have him give me five dollars for it. Grab a Dr. Pepper, sit back and ready up for games galore, bickering adults, and the emotional roller coaster that is retro hunting. Buy a thing once in a while. You're not buying anything on our show. We bring you, you gotta buy. a place I go every day. I'm going to work and the reason I wanted to film this is because Mikey from Pixel Game Squad said he has a box of some of his old stuff. So today I decided to bring my old games that I found at my parents house. Luckily my mom kept a few of them. So I want to dive into it and see what I can get, maybe trade, figure some things out. So let's do it. So I walk into the office where I see Mikey every day, but this time, Mikey! Yes? there is a box filled with retro gaming goodies all over the table. Hello, I'm always here. You're, you're always here. <laughs> now this box is filled with a lot of consoles as the NES, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64. It even has some handheld Street Fighter game. Mikey, if you guys don't know, runs the social media here, but Mikey said, he has this, I'm guessing, as, as I turn. Mikey goes on to tell me a story how most of these are his childhood games. So I actually went to my mom's house and I was like, Mama, where are my games at? And she's like, here, mijo. And she had them all boxed up. So right there, I have a little more responsibility of making sure I not only if I get these games, but take care of them and give them a proper home. So these two were out of it and then the rest of this was in the box. Dang. Look at this too. Mikey. I got a Walkman. Michael. Just so you know it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I told Riff to check the boxes, like to see what games he wants or he needs. So I'm digging through and I'm digging through and I have a ton of these games already. I wanted Riff like to pick out like the games he wanted before I went off and and try to sell it and he's looking through them and I see him grabbing like almost every single one. I'm seeing a lot. I, I, I can tell you quickly what I have and what I don't have. I, I have two like separate collections. So I have some that I like to keep here and then I have some at my house that I like to kind of have my own. So I'm grabbing games that I need. Some that stand out are like Bionic Commando, the Tengen Pac-Man, Super Mario Brothers 3, Turtles 3 Manhattan Project, even games like Marble Madness. Yeah. 
I grew up playing Marble Madness with my brothers. It's a game that's different as far as a video game goes, but it's a really awesome game and a really addictive game. Also games like Street Fighter 2010, which is a brutally hard game, uh, Legacy of Wizard I've talked about before. Street Fighter 2010 is a good game. Uh, G.I. Joe. So once he gets the games that he actually wants, you know, it's like a group of like 10 to 15 games, I think. <laughs> um, looking through these, so I grabbed a lot of games and it's like 10 to 20 video games. I think these. We're not really counting or too worried about actual price or anything because I just need you to trade me something that you think is fair. He then mentions that he has some pops that he's willing to trade and I just started my pop collection so I'm like. I know you're into pops. Oh. I can give you my pops. We decide I'm gonna take Mikey into the room where I have some of my pop figures yeah. but I don't think it would cover this, I want to be fair with you. Okay. What, what you could get cash for it. Mikey is big into collecting pops right now. I still don't think it'd be enough to cover this, so it'd be like a to be continued, if you want to do that. All right, let's go check them out. So we go in the room and check out what pops I have to trade. Give me my pops! Oh no! <laughs> Give me my pops! Oh. <laughs> That's the way the pursuit plays out. <laughs> Wait, look at this, we even got lighting already. Woo! Access, huh? <laughs> so right away I show him my mug man, which I was a little hesitant to get rid of and to trade. This one? I was actually surprised he went towards that one. <sighs> Just because I, and then I have a bunch of Stranger Things pops. I also have the cool Demogorgon. To add to the Stranger Things collection, as you said, a to be continued. Joyce and Hopper. He also has a Mega Man one, he has a Mug Man one. Mega Man. The, just the straight up Here's the one I wanted. 102. Here's the one I wanted right here. I have the 8-bit Target exclusive ones. And he also has like a few of the exclusives. <laughs> the Pixel. The Pixel Dustin. Who is a ex Target exclusive. Oh, this one's so good. The 428 Stranger Things Demogorgon. So, I'm trying to get the ones with the stickers on them. So the Target exclusives, those are the ones I want. The Pixel ones. The Pixel Stranger Things ones. The other 8-bit Target exclusives, uh, Lucas and Mike. Lucas is one of my favorite characters in Stranger Things, by the way. Yeah, I like this trading stuff. I know. Look, hey, this, this is, is a cool. look at this little lot right here. Yeah, look at my collection. He's hyper. And just like that, being two guys that work together, we kind of just agree to accept the trade. All right, Mike, so this can be a to be continued. This is the stuff okay. for now. So we ended up doing the deal, finally. Um, Get you, you know, as it comes, let me know what you're looking for. I'll pop in, set one of the swap meets. Hey, hey, this is really fun. I then do the walk of shame, as you know if you're a gamer, the walk carrying your own stuff to someone else's area. <laughs> Here's your stuff. Making trades, making trades. Making trades. What do you want, bro? Trades. Bro, you already know my little spot. I added to my pop collection, so like, he helped me bring them to my desk. We stacked them up. I got a big stack of pops. Oh, look at, oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that! He's got his collection starting, but at the same time, it's nice to see someone else's collection growing. Oh, and I can Woo! tell you, Mikey, Mikey, look, I can tell you right now the value of those pops. But it is kind of sad, you know, giving the games away, but luckily I work with Rip, I see him every day. I actually see the pops in the games, like either way, he's gonna keep them here, so I'm gonna still see him. 95 bucks. You know, wave at them, maybe kiss them here and there, hug them, you know, whatever. 95 bucks. Mark the shark. Do, 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 do. Mark the shark. Do, 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 do. Mark the shark. Shut up! Here goes Ridley. This is a daily thing right here. I hope you guys know this. This, this is daily. These are the things I tried to forget. So today, Ricky and I are headed out to Frankenson's to also meet NES Complex. Before we go there, I messaged a guy on OfferUp for a sweep, this big, giant. Ricky says we need to stop because he's looking to pick up a really cool Titanfall statue. Here we we meet a right on uh, 
on the street, on that first street here in your apartment complex. So is this, like, a tight, <laughs> is this a Titanfall 1 or 2 statue? Titanfall 1 statue. It, it was like a special edition one. They're huge. They're they like are this. huge. So the guy walks out, we see him walking up from far away, and this thing is a giant. Oh look, here it is. Come on, let's go see it. What's up, man? How are you? Pretty good. And this thing's even bigger than what I remember. It's. Uh, I thought it was only this big. This sucker's like. You told me it was 19 inches. It it looks bigger than 19 inches. Christ, but I yeah. cannot believe how big this thing is. Dude, it does everything. It lights up. There's like I didn't even know there's two characters you that are on the side. So I'm like, dude, this thing's really cool. That big light goes up. Yeah. For so it. you have this big light right here, and then this little one right. Oh, here. I can see it on. Wow. So because of the teams, red and blue. If the Titan is red the opponent is gonna be blue. Got it. And then you just press it a second time and it switches it. So now he's red and the Titan is blue. Dude. We kind of both just expected to see a statue, but this had hidden doors and lights in certain spots and extra characters. And So on the back side here, this button right here, yeah. you press that in, that's what actually lights it up. The thing is sick and it's actually at a good price, so I couldn't say no. Uh. So it, you might not be able to see as much in the light, but. Came with the little, what is that, the certificate for it? So this is the uh, certificate of authenticity. I kept Ooh, that. Nice. You know, 18,000 out of however many they made. 35,000. Yeah. So much detail. So Ricky ended up buying it for 40 bucks. For 40 bucks? I mean, these things are going for a lot online. I recently saw it at a thrift store for $199. All right, and here you go, my friend. Thank you very much. So this is a good deal. Good job, Ricky, but now. All right, with that out of the way, let's go do what we came to do. Let's go to Frankincense. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. All right, that's it. Me being awkward. Duh, I'm a floating hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at it. <laughs> so we are here at Frankensons. It has been too long. We got the whole squad here today, and honestly, it is hot. It's very hot. Everyone's here. We're looking at games and toys and collectibles and really everything there is. Kind of a nerd dumb culture. It's like a haven for us. waiting for NES Complex to get here. Oh wow, as I said that. It's a bird! It's a plane! NES Complex. Turn around. I literally just said we're waiting for NES Complex. So here we are at Frank and Sons. We're walking around. We see toys and cards and all kinds of collectibles and a wall of pop figures. This place is awesome. It's him. He's the guy. One of the first things I see right away is this cool Cuphead metal sign. Ricky points it out to me. So this is a Cuphead little tin sign, but I gotta find out how much it is first. As you may know, I love collecting all things related to Cuphead. And as if you don't know yet, Cuphead is the life. Let's, let's go ask, come on. Yes, I need everything in the Cuphead world. So, I walk over to the owner of this store, a couple good guys that we know in the community. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. We're cool. Awesome guys, and we decide right. how much is this guy? That guy, we have him at 15. 15. What about instead of 15 bucks, I have some NES games in my back of my backpack. <laughs> All right. See if there's one you want. To do some sort of trade because I'm not looking to spend money if I don't have to. So Gabriel found a Cuphead sticker as well. Add that to. So I take the sign in and I open up my bag of NES games. See, they're my doubles, so is there any you want to make the even 20? And he's looking through my games, flipping through. I got Bionic Commando, I got Yoshi, I got Mario 3, and I got Turtles 3. Uh, I'll take the third, the third one. Turtle? Yeah. All right. Which he agrees will be the perfect trade, trade for trade, even trade, with this tin. It works for me. Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank made, you. Made it easy on me. That was easy. <laughs> I was gonna try to snake it out from under his grasp. Are you selling the amiibos or are they just display? How much are you guys asking on? Griff's over there looking at some Cuphead stuff, so I walk away, like usual. <laughs> and 
honestly, they have amiibos. I love amiibos. That's the one thing I really love. I don't know if Rip loves them. He probably does now, but. Vote for 20? I'll do that. That is a good price. And then Gabo comes over. He's like, hey, dude, I'm going to throw another one down. Let's combine it. My friend. Oh, suddenly I see the Luigi, and I need that one, so I grab it. Daddy, for the four. Daddy. And Gabba somehow makes it work to, I think it was 30 bucks for all four Amiibos, which is not bad for me. I'm usually paying a little more for that. I used the brown card for that deal. That's what he was, he was using the Latin flavor, and it worked. Their masterpiece. Look at the, the detail on that. I can't find anything. Everywhere I look, I see things that I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna find something in this booth, but no. I'm looking for transformers, old transformers. Do I find any old transformers I want or need? Nope. I'm looking for Super Nintendo games. Yeah, they have Super Nintendo games, but it's always stuff I already have or it's stuff I don't really want. I can't find anything. You're so so good looking. Thank you though. And then next we walk into another moot booth that has, at first I just thought it was Transformer stuff. Wait, what are you getting? Grimlock. And I see Grimlock. This little Grimlock, I think it was a Hot Topic exclusive. That is Grimlock. Gun is back here. You can the switch it up. Yeah, There's the switchable sick. head that flips back. You can switch it up. And I know it doesn't go for that much, but it was right there and I had to get it for 10 bucks, especially when he said 10 bucks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was like, all right, I'll get it. I looked these up online and 10 bucks is a pretty good deal for these Grimlocks. Yeah, I just like Grimlock because he's a T-Rex. Who doesn't like a T-Rex? They left me. I can't give you more stuff for your show. And I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this. So we're walking, we see this one case. It fills a whole wall, and in that whole case, there's all kinds of toys. And and Rip sees, just off on the side, he sees, I see, of all the things, as Chris and I are talking about Home Alone, a little Kevin McAllister, Kevin McAllister Home Alone Kevin McAllister. little figure. Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Ah! I almost have to get that. He was in the commercial for the Why would I spend $25 for that? We were gonna film something for a video related to Home Alone, but there's Kevin McAllister and it says $25. <laughs> That's totally Home Alone. That's crazy. It's $25. A little steep. Chris is debating. He's going back and forth, blah blah blah, like he does. Oh man! Wow. But I don't want to spend twenty-five dollars on Kevin McAllister. He's pretty cool. He's got the little red sweater on and everything, and I'm thinking I can see his brain start to shift a little. Like I, I should get this. I probably should get this. And Riff's like, dude, get it. You should get it. Is that, awesome. is that your stuff over there? Unfortunately, no. It's no. right around the corner, up in the wall. All right, thank you. My God, but it's twenty-five dollars. I mean, I only spent fifteen on the game and. The manual. Why would I want to spend 25 on an action figure of Macaulay Culkin? I'm just curious about this uh, Home Alone guy right here. Well, then I call the lady over and I say, "How much? What's the bottom line on this?" And she said, uh, <laughs> "I think he's one of the originals, and that's why he's priced like that. He's not like a new one. He's one of the originals." You know, we price it like we want to do it, but I'll I'll do 20. Thank you. We can do 20 on them. That's probably mm. the best I can do. And I'm like, uh, 20 is still really high. But Riff's like, look, I'll give you five. I'll give you five. So I'm thinking, wow, it'll be 15 for me. What if I pitch in five for you? What? Yeah. Really? I end up offering him five dollars. You want me to have Kevin McAllister that bad? So he would have got it for 15 bucks. Not only is he not picking it up with the five dollars off from the lady, 
but he's not picking it up with even me offering him another five dollars on top of that. I gotta think about it. He's a great guy. I love I love all the, the kind things that he does and blah 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 like he does, never knowing what to buy. He never ends up buying much. And and just how how sweet he is. I mean I don't love him like Ricky loves him. But it won't hurt you to put down some cash once in a while. It's okay to do. Buy a thing once in a while. You're not buying anything on our show. You're so, so good looking. <laughs> but I love him. You suck! The gas button doesn't work on mine. That's not oh, fair. I think yellow. At first yeah. I thought it was white. Woo! <laughs> They left me. So a couple of weeks ago, I was in this GameStop and they have a lot of NES mini classics. So I grabbed one and I was thinking and I said, well, let's do a little donation. So Wait for who's this for? That's for you. But he calls me over and he starts opening his backpack and inside of it, he gives something to me that I don't have. I have never been someone that waited in line for this. I never did any sort of restocking at Target or GameStop. There you go. Oh! Oh! The perfect people to donate this is the squat. Wow. Oh wait, I sense some romantic music right now. <laughs> and I don't know, I love this guy, so. I know there's all different iterations and ways to emulate and different retro trios and retro emulators and stuff, but to have the official Nintendo licensed NES classic finally is a gift and a gift I love. So Gabriel, thank you. No way, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to this. I appreciate you and you know that everybody in the squad appreciates you. You started off as just a friend, but now you become a lover. That's the way the NES, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs>Hot, boiling hot day at Franken Sons, but as always, a wonderful place to be. You're gonna have a hard time watching this show and seeing us in a bad mood while looking at video games and nerd dumb culture because this is our world and we get put in it and we automatically love it. It was good to finally go with not just Riff, but also with Ricky and with Gabo. Also, it's my first time uh, hunting with Ness Complex. It's a really cool guy. Overall, today was an awesome day. I got to hang out with all my buddies. And to go to Franken Sun together, we had a good time even though I found nothing it's just good to hang out <laughs> <laughs> so subscribe to my channel NES complex remember kids boys and girls Ricky sucks <laughs> <Good. laughs> yeah, dude. now you guys think that Riff is weird but trust me he's super weird he's way more weird than you actually think oh, I love you <laughs> I'm impulsive buyer but actually, you should get the security camera stuff. That's funny. To Frankenstein's. <laughs> it, feels, it feels like classic. Mind if I 